Hello, in this video we're going to solve several problems where we maximize total revenue. Total revenue is the amount of dollars a firm receives from the sale of its output, calculated as the price of the good times the quantity sold. So problem one, suppose a firm's total revenue is given by the following. Q is the quantity of output, TR is total revenue. What level of output maximizes total revenue? Step one is we're going to take the derivative of the total revenue function. By the way, this derivative would be marginal revenue. So taking the derivative of this equation, the derivative of 100q is 100. The derivative of the second part, we're going to take the exponent on q and bring it down in front. So it's going to be 2 times 2.5. And then on the exponent on 2, we're going to subtract 1. So minus 2 times 2.5 is the minus 5. And then on the exponent here, 2 minus 1 just leaves us with 1. So we can just write minus 5q. Next step is to set the derivative equal to 0. Total revenue is maximized when marginal revenue equals 0. So as I said before, this derivative is marginal revenue. So when marginal revenue is 0, total revenue is maximized. So setting 100 minus 5q equal to 0. And in the third step, we're going to just solve this derivative equation for quantity q. So solving this for q, dividing through by 5, total revenue is maximized at an output of 20 units. Let's do another problem. Suppose the firm's total revenue is given by this equation here. What is the maximum total revenue that this firm can earn? So slightly different question. The last question in problem one was what is the output that maximizes total revenue? We want to actually find the dollar amount of total revenue when it is maximized. So nevertheless, the steps are pretty similar. We're going to, the derivative of 20q is 20. Bring the 2 down from the exponent in front and then subtract 1 from the exponent. We get 20 minus 2q setting that derivative result equal to 0, and then solving for q. 20 divided by 2 is 10. So this is the level of output that maximizes total revenue. We're trying to find what the dollar value of total revenue is when it's maximized. So we're going to take this 10 and plug it back into this total revenue equation. So where we have q, we're plugging in 10. So 20 times 10 minus 10 squared we get a total revenue of $100. So that is the maximum dollar value of total revenue for this firm. Problem three, uh, another variation. Suppose a firm faces an inverse market demand of price equals 20 minus Q. What is the price and quantity that maximizes total revenue? And how much is this total revenue? So as we stated earlier, total revenue can be thought of as the price of the unit times the quantity sold. So where we have the price, I'm now going to plug in 20 minus Q. So making that substitution and then simplifying. So taking the derivative of 20Q minus Q squared, we get 20 minus 2Q, setting that derivative equal to 0. Solving for Q, just like in the last problem number 2, total revenue is maximized at 10 units of output. So now we can take this 10 units of output and plug it into the price equation to get the, the price and the quantity that maximizes total revenue. We got the quantity, let's get the price. So plugging this 10 into the price equation or inverse market demand, we get a market price of $10. And total revenue, we can just simply do price times quantity. Price is 10, quantity is 10, it's $100. Or if we wanted to, like we did in the previous problem, we could take this 10 units of output and plug it into the total revenue equation to also get 100. And finally, in problem four, suppose a firm has marginal revenue of MR equals 100 minus 0.5Q. What is the level of output that maximizes total revenue? So as we stated before, total revenue is maximized when marginal revenue is zero. Setting marginal revenue equal to zero, solving for Q. In this problem, total revenue is maximized at 200 units. Okay, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.